Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today's session is on the topic decision theory where decision making at the time of uncertainties. Now in today's session we'll be handling the problem part of it, the quantitative part of it where it is required that you need to have a pen and a paper with you and at the same time do make sure that you pause the video and uh, uh, do more practice questions which I'll be posting later. So of late we are getting started. Now we look at the first question. The first question that is given is based on the following pair of metrics you are supposed to find out five different criterions maxi max maximum okay we'll look at of them later but now we are going to find out what are what is meant by pay of metrics now when you look into the pay of metrics you have you have an strategies that is on the columns and on the rows you have states of nature now whatever way the way in which the question is being given you will have to rephrase that and rewrite them where the strategies or the alternatives comes on the uh, columns and the states of nature comes on the rows okay now we look into the first question the, the that is maxi max you know once again when you're doing all these kind of uh, questions like whether it is maxi max or mini min or mini max or maxi min you what you have to understand is do the second one first now the second one here is max and then do the first one now here it doesn't make a difference because both are max anyway so i'll make you understand how to do this particular thing now here uh, what you what what happens is take the first column s1 in s1 what is the maximum value that is 30 in s2 what is the maximum value that is 22 in s3 it is 19 in s4 it is 25 so what we did is we took the columns s1 s2 s3 and s4 and found out the maximum values among them now among these maximum values which is the one which has maximum of them which is the one which has maximum among these now the one which has maximum among these is 30 okay so the strategy s1 is to be adopted so we'll explain once again first we find out the maximum value in the column in s1 30 s2 22 s3 it was the max now the highest number is 19 in s4 the highest number is 25 now among these four numbers 30 22 19 and 25 which is the maximum because we are finding out maxi max so what which is the maximum among them it is 30 so the maximum of column maximum is 30 hence the company should adopt strategy s1 now we look into the mini min now we understand here when we do the mini min you have to first of all find the minimum and the columns and then from among them find the minimum number i hope you are getting the point now now here now what happens is you have five in s1 the minimum value is five in s2 the minimum value is seven in s3 the minimum value is eight and in s4 minimum value is 20. Now, from among these four numbers, 5, 7, 8, 20, which is the least? Now, which is the least from among them all? The least from among them all is 5. So, strategy S1 is again selected. So, I just explained. We first find the minimum value in the column. In S1, the minimum is 25. S2, 7. S3, 8. In S3, S4, the lowest value is 20. Among these four numbers, which is the least? That is 5. And that is actually falling in column S1. The, so the strategy which ought to be adopted is S1. So first find the minimum value of the column. Then among them find the minimum. So minimum of the column minimum is 5. Hence the company should adopt strategy S1. Now similar is the method in which you do the other questions like um, mini, mini max, max min the same same thing i hope you got the got the the way in which it ought to be done now 
next one here we are going to do is minimax regret now the word regret is most important here because the regret the word means like opportunity lost something that is lost now uh, in this particular pay of metrics these are profits now i forgot to tell you this is actually a profit pay of metrics now these uh, when you take the strategy there are five or uh, uh, four states of nature a b c d when you take a strategy state of nature a when you take and you adopt strategy s1 the profit that you get is five adopt strategy s2 the profit that you get is 10. now what happens is when you adopt the strategy s4 or whether imagine you take the strategy s4 you you are sub you are losing that particular opportunity of adopting the strategy s1 okay that means you are losing something imagine you have in front of you you have a, a very good vegetarian dish very good thali dish okay and on a sadhya at the same time you have in front of you a biryani a veg biryani uh, sorry a chicken biryani you're eating uh, on a sadhya you're not eating chicken biryani so what you're losing you're losing the, the very good taste you, you might be losing um, the energy of all these things but at the same time you're gaining something so that is what is known as regret you are foregoing something now I'm telling all these things because I was trying to make you understand what you mean by regret here now how you do this particular um, uh, minimax regret question is you have to first of all find the maximum in the row in the previous questions we were not looking in row wise but in this particular question you will be looking low row wise first now here the among the row among this particular row i'm sorry it, it doesn't look all now among this particular row which is the minimum minimum uh, which is the maximum the maximum is 25 now uh, in question number B, in row B which is the maximum it is 23 in C it is 21 and in D the maximum value is 30 so what we are doing till now is we were first of all finding out mini max regret so in mini max when you do this regret uh, type of questions what you are supposed to do is find out in that particular row which is the maximum value which is the maximum value and from those maximum values then subtract that value from all the other values in the row now here what happens is uh, the maximum value is 25 now subtract the 25 5 from all other numbers in that particular row did you get me now the second one is 23 subtract 23 from all other numbers so here 23 minus 23 i forgot to put it 23 minus 23 okay now next what you're supposed to do is 20 here 23 20 uh, the highest value is 21 now whether you take 21 this 21 or this 21 doesn't make a difference so ultimately what happens you subtract 21 from all the numbers here it is 30 you subtract 30 from all the numbers so the resultant matrix the resultant matrix is called opportunity loss matrix so once you do this calculation you get this matrix and this is called opportunity lost matrix now understand one thing we are doing mini max we are doing mini max regret criterion now among this you have to find the uh, max now he, here it is where you start with the second uh, second uh, word that is max and then you have to find the mini now what is the maximum among these values maximum of the column minimum now for, sorry you have to find the maximum yeah so maximum is already being found out here and from them the minimum value is you have to find the minimum value now what is the minimum value minimum value is 10 so the answer is that we have to adopt the strategy s4 so i'll just repeat what happens here why did we do this in this minimax regret what, what we did is initially we i just erase initially what happened is 
we first of all found out in the row we find, found out the maximum value in the row we found out the maximum value and from among the maximum values you subtract that maximum value from all the other other values subtract 25 from all the other values 23 from all the other values in row wise you subtract it that is that is what has been done here now why did you take the maximum value here the maximum value was taken because it is a maxi min regret so first of all you find the maximum values in the row then what you do is once you got the maximum values then you are supposed to do find the minimum among them now the minimum among them here is 10 so you adopt strategy as for minimum of column minimum is 10 maximum of column minimum is 10 hence company should adopt strategy s4 okay now we are going to do the laplace criterion or the uh, criterion of equal or prob probabilities now here under this assumption all states of nature are equally likely here everything is equally likely now uh, here uh, I'll just try to explain how to do this and then I'll tell you what is meant by Laplace criterion. Now in Laplace criterion, now we have here, we have here the, our question where S1, S2, S3, S4, here we are giving equally likely chance for all the values, all the profit uh, payoff metrics. Now whether, so here how you compute is, you simply find the average of the column. 5, 8, 21, 30. 5 plus 8 plus 21 plus 30 divided by 4. You find the average. You find just find the average. You 5 plus 8 plus 21 plus 30 divided by 4. You get 16. Divide by 4, you get 4.25. Divide by 4, you get 14.25. Divide by 4, you get 22.25. Now, from among them, the maximum of the average you have to find out. The maximum of the average you have that that is here is the maximum of the average is 22.5 so maximum of the average is 22.5 hence strategy s4 is selected so i'll just repeat once again here what we did is you first of all you first of all uh, take the um, payoff metrics and in the payoff metrics you find the average column wise you find the average of the strategies once you find the average um, you just have to find the maximum because in the sense of the profit metrics you find the maximum maximum of the average and the maximum of the average is 22.5 you have to adopt strategy s4 i hope you have got this now why do you call it equal probabilities because every every one is given equally chance in the previous one you used to give maximum minimum and all here there is nothing called maximum minimum you are just finding the average equal probability for all and then from them you are finding the maximum because it is a profit matters you have to maximize you have to increase the profit you're taking s4 no, so you're taking the maximum out of them now we are finding the hurwicks coefficient of optimism or hurwicks method this criterion represent a compromise between the optimistic and pessimistic now in previously what happens is either you uh, maximize either you minimize so here what happens is you're trying to find out uh, an equilibrium or the most best method uh, where you find the weighted average so i first of all make you understand as how you do this but you have a formula here the formula is alpha into maximum in the column column wise what is the maximum plus one minus alpha into minimum in the column now uh, maybe this looks a little complicated but i tell you one thing alpha is a value which will be provided in the question now if you trace back the question the question it is it has been mentioned that in hurwicks criterion given alpha is equal to 0.6 so in the question, in the uh, maybe for even for exam also, the uh, Hurwicks uh, alpha will be provided. So it is called the uh, degree of optimism alpha will be provided. So given the degree of optimism alpha is equal to 0.6. So what happens? 1 minus alpha will be 1 minus 0.6 that is 0.4. Now what happens is, now what you have to do, suppose to do is, you have to find the maximum payoff 
now in, in you take s1 maybe i'll take the question here you take s1 and you find the maximum payoff maximum payoff is 30 now here the maximum is 22 here the maximum is 19 here the maximum is 25 so once you take the maximum payoff you find the minimum payoff also in column wise you find the minimum payoff so this is how you and you write them down 30 22 19 25 5 7 18 20 you write them into this particular matrix now you apply the formula of weighted uh, payoff now what was the formula formula was something like this alpha into maximum in the column so alpha is 0 0.6 0 0.6 0.6 into maximum in the column is 30. So 0.6 into 30 plus the formula is 1 minus alpha. 1 minus alpha is 0 0.6 minus alpha that is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 into minimum in the column. So 0 0.4 into 0.4 into 5. 0.4 into 5. So that is how you get 25. When you do this particular calculation, you will get the answer as 25. In S2 also, do the same calculation 0 0.6 into maximum in the column plus 0.4 into minimum, that is 7, you get 19. So finally, what you are supposed to do is in Hurwitz's uh, in Hurwitz's criterion, once you find the weighted weighted payoff matrix, since this is again uh, reiterating again and again, since this is a profit matrix, you have to maximize the profit so among these four values 25 19 16 point 8 and 24 the maximum value is 25 so you adopt the strategy s1 so these are the uh, these are the different methods in which um, you can solve the uh, decision theory and among this we first of all looked into the maxi max criterion then we looked into the mini min mini min criterion then we looked a little complicated one where you have to find the opportunity cost matrix using the regret criterion where in opportunity cost matrix you you find you subtract that particular high the in among the rows among the rows you find the maximum and that maximum value will be subtracted from all the other numbers and the from then the minimum is is being selected because it is minimax then you in the laplace criterion you just find the average and the highest of the average is being taken and then in the hurwitz criterion there is a formula and applying the formula you get the weighted payoff matrix and the highest among the weighted payoff matrix is selected and the corresponding strategy is adopted so i hope you understood how we solve these different criteria of decision